What is up guys, Zack Scott here playing Plants vs. Zombies 2. Let's rock. I'm, we're in arena. I forgot to record until I just started here. So here we are. I got everything laid out. We're going with a three-peter strategy. There's There are water tiles on here. I'm not sure why. Uh, but I don't know if any more are going to appear. Uh, so I'm just going to start like this and, and hope that things go well. They probably will. I might need to consider ditching. Uh, some, well, no, there we go. There's, I don't know. I was thinking I could, I could do some tiles, uh, tile turnips maybe, but maybe not. There we go. Oh boy, pulling that away, huh? I don't like that. Oh, those guys are allergic to fire. They're not, oh, they're not going to get hurt by fire at all. So, I, I did not know that those were there. So, that's annoying. So, those torchwoods are useless. I didn't realize those, those guys were here. Oh well. That's a shame because I really thought I had something going with this Torchwood strategy, but maybe not. The appeasement, though, seems to work okay. But I really just don't need the Torchwoods here. Let me just dig them up or something. I don't know, man. Just get out of here. You can have them. They are useless to me. There you go. I could use some more sun. I mean, I know, I know it's gonna get tough because there's a lot of really heavy duty guys here. I might need an explosion strategy because there's so many heavy guys, or or an impair strategy. They're giving me enough plant food. Impair might actually work. Cause see, I'm just kind of trying to hit him with this, but. Some of these guys have quite the... These, they have a lot of helmets on. Boomberry might be useful, I don't know. But I wasn't planning on using it, so... How come I can't plant down there? There's nothing... That, why can't I plant right in front of them? It won't let me... Why won't it let me plant there? It doesn't make any sense. No oh well. Oh well. Man, I don't know what to think. All right, so. Man, it won't let me plant there at all. It's so weird. Well, I beat my opponent with two million, but this is not the strategy that's going to get me a really high score. So let's move on. How about that? Let's move on and try something new. Although I do appreciate the victory, that's not really enough of what I want. So let us indeed move on really quick. And uh, sure, I mean, I'll take the reward. The reward's good. But we're going in... I mean, there's so many plant foods that I almost think that impair might be necessary. But then if I have impair, I mean, we might as well try a strategy that's going to... Okay, that, that's going to rely on Primal Potato Mine because explosions are not nerfed. Um, let me bring in the Tile Turnip. Might as well also then bring in... The power lily, maybe even imitated, but no, I don't know. Well, I have the boom berry. That could that could be my thing that shoots when I. Uh, it better let me bring an impair. Where, where I never remember where the impair is though. Uh, impair is going over here. Oh my goodness, where are you? There you are. Uh, I think that this is good. Let's rock. Let's see what we got now. There's water tiles. I can't plant in the water tiles. That's fine, I guess. Uh, the the other thing is. I do, I do want boom berries. Let me see. Get get rid of uh, a couple of those. Sure. And then, oh, I don't have any sun production. That's bad. Let's rock. I forgot about sun production entirely somehow. I don't think sun's pouring down from the sky. There you go. Uh, let's put one there. 
Boom, get ready to boom. All right, we are out of resources, <laughs> basically. Got him. Sandstorm coming through. We really don't want that to happen. There you go. That's good. That's good. Oh, we got a whole... Man, I used that a little bit early, but that's okay. Good job. Man, those... Okay, hold on. There you go. Hold on. Hold on. I think it would be in our best interest to focus more so on these... Uh, Oh boy. Oh boy, yeah. They are. There you go. Don't eat that one. There we go. We might want another tile. I don't know. There you go. Good placement. Yeah, I really don't have much. If I can get more sun, which looks like it's bound to happen. Then I can do another impair, uh, another tile on the impair. Because right now we're, we're full. Oh, that the, oh the the waters for those guys. So weird. There you go. How about that? There you go. Two waves of impair is better than one always. There you go. So we're at one point three million. Which might be good. Lots of explosions that we've gotta we gotta fill back up. There you go. There you go. Those guys are gone for now. 1.7. So this is gonna be a good score, I think. Um Those water tiles are so weird though. 30 seconds left. Barely hitting anybody. 2.3 million. I mean, I feel like that we've got this under control. Could be wrong, though. I could be wrong. 10 seconds. Yikes. 2.6. Well, 2.6 is better than my other strategy, right? 2.7? Okay, I don't know. 2.7 million. How can we get to three? Uh, you know, we could try a strategy where, well, hmm. How can we get to three? Because 2.7 seems pretty good. It seems like I had that on lock. But I really think I need sun production if I'm going to, like, really expand my, my plant base here. And really start attacking them. Uh, they have helmets though, which is super annoying, but let me um Well, let me just go back To the strategy that I'm talking about here, which is oh Man, what, what do I want to put something just in the front lines to attack them like crazy? Um, hmm <clears throat> I don't know. Um, basically, we just can't bring in fire and ice. That's the main thing. We can't bring in fire and ice. Aqua vines seem pretty powerful, but like... So far, I haven't really seen a strategy that like... Well, here. I'll bring in sticky bomb. I'll bring in electricity. I'll try electricity. That might be able to hit some of the stuff in the back. I'll bring in Sticky Bomb Rice, and maybe I'll just bring... We'll try an electricity strategy with Sticky Bomb Rice combined. And we'll see how that goes. Because it could work. It might not, but it could work. Alright, let's rock. Here we go. Bringing that in. Oh, boy. Because these things do explode, you know. So that's one good thing about it. Now, I am going to get a lot of plant food. I probably should have still brought it in an impair, but that's all right. Let's see what we got. I might actually just uh, <clears throat> just keep packing this in. This looks good. This looks good. We're winning for the moment. Oh, yikes. 
Now, if we can start getting some plant food out here, that would be good. There you go. Here we go. I mean, this, I mean, the explosive seems really good. I mean, we learned that from using the primal potato mine that the explosive was going to be probably pretty good. Could always use more sun. There we go. We're at one million, so we're a third of the way to my personal goal of three. I hate setting goals for myself in this game, though, because what if I don't make it? Then I'll feel weird at the end of the video. Uh, but we have, we have a lot of electricity going on. This should be a, a victory, right? One might think. One point seven. One point eight. Two. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Two point three. Really, we just need more and more plant food. 2.6, we might actually do it. Might actually break that three. Oh yeah, we're gonna break it. So this is this is better than the strategy that we use with the uh, with the primal potato mines. This strategy is so loud though that the electricity is constantly going. So there's a 3.1 million strategy. I do gotta wonder though, would it have been better with impairs? So 3.2, I'm gonna, instead of the sticky bomb rice, I'm gonna bring out in pairs and see if that helps. It could help. There's a lot of mango rewards on this one. It's pretty much all mango rewards. Uh, so let me, so two, what, 3.2? Let's see if I can get past that a little bit. Let's see here. Oh, man, I hope that's the right choice. But I think it is because they give us so much plant food that it's hard to not just use it. And this will clear them out pretty good, I imagine. Um, impair. Oh, why not? How do I never know? It always seems like it's in a slightly different place, does it not? Anyway, um, reload. That's a good defense. Especially because now we don't have to worry too much. All right, there's one there. And I'm just gonna, you know, just keep putting these down. And as soon as it does give me what I want, then I will, uh, I'll use, uh, I'll use it. Plant food is what I want, by the way. Yikes, that one got covered up, that's okay. All right, here we go. That seemed like a good hit to me. Excellent. Okay, I could really, really, there it is, there it is. Excellent, we're at only a half million though, so we'll see. Need more sun production, obviously. There's something. 
All right, so we're, we, we're, we have a minute and a half left. We're only a third of the way there, so I don't know if this is going to work. All right. I mean, it's feeling good, but I don't know. Oh, here, I have another one. I didn't realize I already had another one on me. Yeah, so we're going to hit two soon. I don't know if we're going to hit three, though. That's the main thing. I don't know if we're going to make it all the way to three. They do like sending out Gargantuars, though. I can't even really see what's going on. There's a Gargantuar right there. So this is not going to be as high of a score, unfortunately. But it is what it is. I mean, that that's not a bad score, but... Okay, so they're using... Hmm. I guess I could try... Uh, well, you know what I could try. How about instead of electricity, so we'll go back to the Boomberry strat, not the Boomberry, uh, Sticky Bomb Rice strategy. But instead, which was a, with, with electricity was 3.2, but with, uh, let's, let's try the same type of thing, but, um, because I do like Sticky Bomb Rice. Seems to be pretty effective. But instead of Sticky Bomb Rice, I will bring in, uh, you know, a 3 Peter strategy or something like that. And we'll just try to get everything working out. See if it works. Could be good. So this will be very similar. All right, I put I put too many. Cause we do need a really solid row. Like, but man, I still need here. This is a more expensive strategy, obviously. All right, let's ride. This should be good. This should be a good start. We're gonna make a lot more sun because I put down like double sun. So that's gotta work, right? That's gotta be good. And then we can start digging this stuff up if we need to. But I'm just gonna try to really lean into the uh, three Peter aspect of this strategy. Really see a need for anything yet. So that is kind of targeting. You know what? We could we could pick and choose which row to put that on. Then we can put one of those on every row, and then when we have something, so this guy's in the middle row now. So here, sure, I'll use the one in the middle. Take out the Gargantuar with that. That could be cool, right? And then... Uh... In fact, it almost seems like he's always in the middle. That was pretty good. Now we're going to have a lot more sun, so get ready for that. Huh. Oh, there we go. Right four, and we're at 1.7, which is pretty good, I think. I'm gonna start digging up some more of this. It seems like we have more than enough sun now, so we can really expand our territory here.
Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, we have plenty of... Oh, we're at... Wow, I didn't realize, but we're already at three. So yeah, pea shoot... I mean, I used to do electric strategies all the time, but pea shooter, three feeder uh, strategies and the pea bind strategies have really overtaken that. And you can see why. We're at 3.4... We're just, we're getting them, we're getting them, you know what I'm saying? We're getting them. I don't even know if these guys really stand a chance. Oh yeah, we broke four. Even better. Four point three. I love it. I love that score. That's a good score. Thank you for watching. Come back next time for more. Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help the channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join on YouTube and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop. Come back next time for more.